Today we're going to discuss tension on your sewing machine. Hi there! My name is Irene and you are watching the Sugary Do channel. This is the second episode of the Quilty Questions videos and today we're going to discuss the tension on your sewing machine. But before we dive into that, I want to tell you about a free ebook that I made. It's about straight line quilting and it contains 101 designs for straight line quilting. So if you want to check it out, please find the link in the description box below. Using a sewing machine is awesome, uh, but only if it does make pretty stitches. So pretty stitches, I mean stitches that look good on the front and on the back of your work. But to understand how we will make perfect stitches, we first need to learn how a sewing machine works. To make stitches on a sewing machine, we need a top thread and a bottom thread. And this illustration shows really nicely what happens when your sewing machine is sewing. So when your needle pinches the fabric, your needle goes down with the top thread, and then the top thread will loop around the bobbin, and then it will bring up the bottom thread. So you see in this animation that those two threads are nested really nicely in the middle of your fabric. And when that happens, then you have really nice, perfect and even stitches. The way your machine makes these stitches is by tension. And tension is nothing else than the pulling on the thread. So your machine is putting tension, it's pulling on the top thread and it's putting tension on the bottom thread. And when those two are nicely balanced, that is when the threads will meet at the center of your fabrics and that will give nice and even stitches on the top and on the bottom. So let's see if I can make my machine do some imperfect stitching so I can show you what you can do to solve your tension problems. So first I'm just going to make some stitches and I've put in orange thread in my top thread and some blue thread in my bobbin. And I've just set my machine to uh, auto and uh, it's making really nice stitches for me. Okay. We have stitches on the front. And stitches on the back. And they both look really nice and even. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to increase my tension. And the tension is only the top tension. I'm not going to touch the bobbin. Um, I'm going to explain bobbin tension at the end of the video. But for now we're just going to adjust the top tension. There we go. So I've increased the top tension a lot. And I'm first flipping this around because at the bottom this looks really good. So both lines look pretty similar. But when I turn it around and I look at the top, let me zoom in so we can really see it. So at the top you can see tiny blue dots peeking through the fabric. And those blue dots, uh, those are my um, bottom thread. So what's happening here is that my bottom thread is popping up at the top of my work. So let's just see it as you have a rope and you have two sides pulling on that rope. So here you have the top tension and here you have a bobbin th tension and now the balance is nicely in the middle but when the top tension is increased as I did now it's going to pull the balance to above the fabric. So it's going to pull the bobbin thread uh, to the top of the work. So you see your bottom thread peeking out on the top of your work. Um, that's because we increased the top tension. So we increased it, uh, so the balance went to the top of your work. Um, so what you should do when you have the problem that you see your bobbin thread peeking up on top of your work, you should decrease your top tension. So when you decrease it, you go back to the balance and then you won't see your bobbin thread peeking out to the top. Okay, uh, I hope that makes sense. Let's see what happens when I decrease my top tension a lot. 
So there we go, I decreased my top tension a lot. Let's see what happens now. On the top, this kind of looks okay. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. It kind of looks okay, but you can also already see that these stitches are pretty loose. And what should be happening at the bottom? Yes, that is what I expected. The top tension was super loose, so the bobbin tension, the bottom tension, pulled the, th the, pulled the thread to the bottom of my work. So here you see all those orange loops, those are my top thread, and that's pulled to the bottom of my work. So what happened now is that we had a rope and we had our bobbin tension and top tension and now I decreased this a lot so this side is not pulling at it uh, or almost not pulling at it so this side is going to win so my balance is going to be to the bottom of my work uh, that is the balance that you want to play with when you want to solve your tension problems so do you see your thread peeking out on the top that means your top th tension is pulling too hard, so you should decrease it. But when you see your top thread pulling out on the bottom of your work, your top tension is not pulling hard enough, so you have to increase your top tension. But what if that is not working at all for you? For example, there could be a problem that your tension is off, but also your bobbin thread is breaking. So what could happen is that you uh, increase your top tension, uh, your balance is going to be a lot a bit better, but still your bobbin thread is breaking. Well, that could mean that your bobbin tension is too tight. So when you have an older machine and you've been sewing for years and years, over the years it could be that your tension changed a little bit. I have uh, one very old machine um, and this is the bobbin case from that machine. On this machine I fixed my bobbin tension once. And um, uh, how you do that is they always say you should not touch your bobbin tension and in most cases that is the case. Always first start trying out with your top tension. But in this case with my very old machine I uh, fixed it with changing my bobbin tension. So what I did was I took my bobbin case. I have a metal bobbin in my bobbin case. And on the bobbin case you see a little screw. It's over here. And that screw that defines the tension in your bobbin. So when I put in my bobbin and I thread it correctly, that's also a thing you should always check first. Uh, when I tighten the screw and when you do this, only always do it with just like on a clock, 15 minutes. Not more than that, when I would turn it to the right, with only 15 minutes, I um, increase the tension. So when I would now put my bobbin on my hand and pull the thread, I'm lifting the whole bobbin case with my bobbin. Because the tension, so the force with which the bobbin case is pulling on my thread, it's quite high. So now it takes a lot more effort to pull on my thread. So when I'm lifting it, I'm lifting the whole bobbin case. So let me now decrease it. I'm going back, turning my little screw by just a quarter of the round. When I put it then in my hand, you see that the bobbin is staying on my hand and I can pull the thread without my bobbin is going up from my hand. So here I have my bobbin. And when I now pull on the thread, you will see that bobbin case is staying on my hand. So I can pull the thread up without lifting the bobbin case. And that just means that the bobbin case is not pulling as hard on my thread as it was when I turned the screw. So uh, that is changing your bobbin tension. And um, uh, if nothing works with your top tension, try to... Uh, change your bobbin but um, uh, only if you're sure that nothing else is uh, wrong like threading your machine or cleaning out your bobbin area or um, threading your bobbin correctly uh, 
when that all doesn't work, you can try to change this or just contact the surface point of your machine. So I hope this was a helpful video and that it will help you create those perfect stitches that you want your sewing machine to make. And um, if you have more quilty questions, just leave them down in the comments below so I can get to it in the next quilty questions video. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye.